hi and good day wherever you find yourself so today's a sunday and i just came back from church but before i even go into change myself i want us to have a very important conversation i'm sure you agree with me that one of the ways to bring out the true beauty of a building is through painting that is selecting the right type of paint the colors matters so in this video let's talk about painting So there are different type of paint out there that allows you to, you know, do different things. Some acrylic, which allows you to, you know, be able to wash or clean um, the wall whenever there is a uh, dirty. Uh, there's also oil paint, emulsion paint, and so on. So for this house, we used both acrylic and then oil paint. So acrylic for the inside walls, the inner walls, as well as the outer walls, and then oil paint for the doors and then windows. Now also, acrylic paints, uh, with regard to acrylic paints, there are some that are purposely used for inside or interior, and then there are some that are used for exterior. So what we used for the outside was exterior. Also, there are different brands when it comes to painting. So for ours, we use uh, some paint from Coral and then also that of news, especially for the outside. So we use different brand of paint um, during the painting of this house for the interior, the windows, the doors, as well as the exterior. While some paints are able to stand the test of time, some don't do so well. Now we had our house painting that was like about three, close to three months ago, that was in August. Uh, today's 30th of October. And uh, when we completed, just take a look at how it looked as a then. So I'm sure you've seen how it looked as a day. Now let's take a walk and then have a look at how it looks uh, now. So let's start with here. So you notice this, uh, yeah, this white substance or particles or whatever it is on the wall. Yeah, also over here, over here, here, down there. And then let's take a look at the back over here as well. So you notice this and that. And then let's go a little bit to the back as well and then over here you notice that as well right so we've been having a lot of rains here in recent times and whenever it rains of course it can't rain without beating the, the walls of the house so when it rains the you know the walls get wet with Wait, which is normal, which is fine, which is okay. Should be so under normal circumstance. Uh, what you realize or notice is that our, especially the exterior walls of this house, is beginning to peel off. That is just barely close to three months. Not even three months yet, because it was sometime in I guess we had this painting done, and I've been wondering why should that be so. Now, the brand we use for the exterior part of the painting is known as News. So, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, let me just go bring the bucket and show you. So, as I was saying, this is the brand we used, News. Yeah, and it was purposely, so this is acrylic paint. Yes, and it said uh, it could be used both inside as well as outside. So it says good um, hiding, washable. I don't know if the washable is actually what is applied uh, or taking place. And then orderless. And then, yeah, so basically that's, that's written in French as well. So this is the brand that we use for the exterior part of our house. And as you can see for yourself, it hasn't really done so well, especially at our place. Now, I'm not saying that this brand is not good, but it looks like the conditions over here isn't so favorable for this type of paint, which brings us to a very important aspect of painting. 
before you have your painter that, that is decided on the colors, the brands and the rest, it is very important to seek some sort of consultation that is from the painter or from like a construction firm or even from people who have had their house are painted. Now, once you're able to do that, you probably will save yourself some time and money. Uh, I was trying to, um, it, it wasn't cheap, I must say, because the price was like, compared to the others, uh, maybe it was a little bit cheaper, but there were even more that um, some that were cheaper, but I decided to go in for this because I thought, of course, it would be able to be okay. Now, the colors were perfect, it matched everything that we wanted, and the rest, which was a little bit crazy because I didn't get to see the color um, like how it looks but you know they just told me pointed to me what it was going to look like which i was okay i'm okay with the color but of course as you can see uh, i wasn't able to withstand the conditions over here of course i didn't decide all this by myself i went to purchase this with my painter but i don't know if he hasn't experienced anything like this with this type of paint or this brand of paint especially or maybe this specific type that we use but he, he didn't point out that to me which was uh, a bit sad now also when you go to purchase the paint there are some that are purposely for interior there are some that are purposely for exterior so when you go to maybe a company like let's say coral they have charts and then they tell you that these are for interior these are for exterior and so on so like i was saying it is very important to at least get a little bit of consultation before you go ahead with your painting else you might complete a very big house painted nicely and the rest and within some few times especially if it rains so hard you notice that your paints are going to be coming off the building which is not so good so yeah this is what i wanted to share with you or this is what i wanted us to talk about before i even change myself because it's very important to me because now the building looks a little bit horrible because of the peeling off of the paint so i'm thinking of going to have it done again but this time around um i'll try as much as possible to uh pay attention to the paint or the brands out there and see which one will be good of course uh take into consideration the cost as well but if it is going to be expensive and it is going to serve it purpose i don't think it's it should be a problem so this is what i wanted to share with you that'll be just about it for this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see so this is one of the challenges i've faced over here so far I'll try as much as possible to highlight a few more, which are not so much of a big deal, but it is also important to see them so you also learn from them whenever you're having your building that. So that would be just about it for now. Thank you for watching.